In overcoming sin in our lives, we need to be walking by the Spirit. The reason we need to be walking by the Spirit is because the Spirit's desires are contrary to the desires of the flesh. Now we see this over in Galatians chapter 5 and verse 16, where it says, But I say, all of you walk by the Spirit, and you will never bring to completion the desires of the flesh. For the flesh's desires are against the desires of the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these oppose one another in order that we do not do the things that we desire. So when we walk by the Spirit, we can overcome sin because the Spirit's desires actually are contrary to those desires from the flesh. We now have the indwelling Spirit of God. This means He impacts us at our very core. He impacts us at our desires. Remember, as having three parts, we have a body, soul, and spirit. And we have desires that come from all three parts. We have desires that relate to the flesh, which could be sleeping and eating. We have desires related to the soul, which have to do with more of an emotional aspect. And desires that come from the spirit, which is more logical. Now, being saved, we actually have the Holy Spirit influencing us also. So he is actually giving us desires to do what is righteous. We need to pay attention to those and start managing our lives according to those desires and seeking to fulfill them rather than the desires of the flesh. See, God doesn't speak to us today. We don't hear a quiet voice. We don't see signs and wonders. And the reason is we live out from faith. Okay, out from faith goes back to a promise that God gave us. And the promise related to who we are in Christ and what we have in our salvation. Make it so that rather than having to hear God, we actually get the types of desires that please God. And we can fulfill those in our lives by paying attention to them. So overcoming sin starts with listening to the desires from the Spirit rather than the desires from the flesh. Now, of course, walking by the Spirit does take some practice because we do have to pay attention to the desires that are coming into our minds and weigh them and see if they really line up with who we are in Christ. Because the reality is the Spirit's not going to contradict that, not going to contradict who we are in Christ. So when it comes to overcoming the sin nature, remember, no reckon and yield. Know that Christ not only died, but that was actually counted to us, and that he was raised. Count that to be true, because since we are raised with Christ, the sin nature has actually been rendered ineffective. But now it comes down to whether we're going to yield our members to righteousness or unrighteousness. See, we have the Spirit in us. He's giving us desires to do what is right. We need to pay attention to and focus on those desires and fulfill them so that we are actually living a life that takes full advantage of the salvation that we have. And then we are no longer slaves to the sin nature. We're no longer producing sin. What we're doing is producing righteousness.